if you're new around here, we are Nicole and Miko, and we are on a road trip around Sri Lanka to show just how beautiful this place is. Today we have a day trip from Pikadua, where we are now, to a nearby city called Gaul. We're going to try some surfing, maybe do a little bit of shopping, and hopefully by the end of the day, we'll end up with some delicious Sri Lankan food. Water monitors. Water monitors. What did he just eat? Holy. Oh, oh it's all the fish guts. Wow, that's so cool. That's massive. And, and it looks like they're just eating like the scraps of the from the fisher fishermen boats over there. I think it's just neat they just like hang out here, like with a whole bunch of people around them and all these boats. I mean there's people there's like fishermen over there. Or uh, people in the water, like looks like they're preparing their nets. Like they're in the water too. These guys are over here. They're in like their own little part, and uh, no one seems to be too bothered that there's five big lizards here. Right? Happy? Yeah. That was yeah. Cool stop. Thanks, Amila. I think that is probably the best place for those guys to hang out. <laughs> they just eat like the scraps of all fish. I don't think it's gonna be the last time we're gonna stop on the side of the road to look at animals while we're here in Sri Lanka. Definitely will not be. So we've arrived to our surfing spot for the day. This is just on the west side of Gaul. A couple things to note, today it's only gonna be me surfing. Nicole can't be surfing because of her arm. She can, might talk about that later. <laughs> Secondly, um, my surf instructor today uh, is the co-owner of Banana Leaf, the Airbnb that we've been staying at. So his name is Amila and it makes things so, so convenient <laughs> that he can just bring us from Banana Leaf, our apartment in Hikadua, straight here to Gaul and then just teach me how to surf. I'm excited for Are it. Are you excited? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not looking forward to the workout, but I am <laughs> looking forward to getting out into the water. All right, so I just found a little table to sit down at and kind of tuck away at while Miko does his surfing. Uh, so far, it looks like he's doing amazing. I'm so impressed. Honestly, Emil's given him great pushes, and then he's actually been able to go up, it looks like, quite a lot of times. Also, I'm not sure if I've said this on here before, but the reason I'm not surfing is because I got a super bum shoulder. I tried surfing last year when we were in Sri Lanka, actually, um, and it was incredibly painful. So uh, I decided not to do that again. I was in a car accident maybe almost four years ago. And yeah, shoulder, neck stuff as a result. So surfing, unfortunately, is a total no-go for me. It's a little too painful. But being out here watching Mika do it is awesome. He looks like he's having an awesome time. And it also meant that for the first time ever, I flew the drone by myself, which is a skill I'm trying to develop over here in Sri Lanka. Um, so I'm, hope I'm hopeful that I got some decent shots of the beach for you. Apologies if they're not as good as what you're used to, because usually Nico does the drone shots and he's incredible. Uh, but I was totally terrified to do it by myself from start to finish and make sure that I didn't drown our drone in the ocean. So <laughs> I wasn't quite as gutsy as he usually is with it, but that is the win for me for today. Nico's working on his surfing skills and I am working on my drone skills. I had a great time. I am so exhausted. I think I just forgot how like physically exhausting it can be. That little bit of paddling just like, it just feels like a sprint in the water and it just tires me out so much. I only have so much energy for that. I highly recommend if anyone's in the south coast during the right season, this is a great way to get some exercise and just being in the water 
perfect temperature, perfect sun. I loved it. I hope you had a good time too. <laughs> Professional photography lady today. That's all I did. <laughs> Memory serves, I want to say the Portuguese. Yeah, it was the Portuguese. Yeah, Portuguese. In like the 16 or 1700s? Yeah, I think, I think 1600s. It's like a fortified, fortified part of the city. Yeah. And uh, now it's like bustling with cafes and shops and restaurants. Yeah. It's actually a really cute area. Yeah. I think there's a couple lookout spots that we can take you to in a little while. But we gotta eat. <laughs> Turns out we got a Sri Lankan feast, and we didn't know we were getting a Sri Lankan feast. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I got vegetable curry. I have a giant plate of rice and four different vegetable curries. So she said this is uh, aubergine or um, eggplant. Mango curry, yum. Pumpkin curry, which I think might be one of my top like three or four foods here in Sri Lanka. And this is like a green pea and bean. I, green pea and something curry. Anyways. I am so excited. Mika's food also looks amazing here. I got the chicken curry with a roti, which is kind of like a Sri Lankan flatbread. And then I got a dal, which is like made from lentils and some different spices. I think Nicole and I are gonna share because this is like a whole feast and I did not expect this. Yep. So if you're in Gaul and you would like some very good Sri Lankan food, Cafe Punto is where it's at. But now we're gonna head around the uh, golf four here and do a little bit of shopping. Nicole wants to get some dresses or a new shirt or something like that, just for more beach and south coast ready. It's small, so thank you. Thank you so much. Nico's a bit in need of a keychain to put the uh, bike key on because it's real tiny and. Uh, He's scared he's gonna lose it. So I think you found something, hey? I think I did. Tiny little, tiny little keychain from a tiny little shop. So shopping has been proving uh, very difficult and not very successful. <laughs> so we are uh, making ourselves feel better with some mango sago. Never tried it before. I don't really know what it is. <laughs> It looks so good. Yeah, all we managed to purchase today was uh, keychains, so um, I feel like this is just how we're gonna console, console ourselves mm -hmm. with just a little bit of mango mm. sago. It really reminds me of tapioca. A little less, like tapioca and used to it being sweet because oh, they, yeah. like, they usually like, make it sit in syrup when you get bubble oh, tea. Wow. And that just hasn't been in syrup. It's good, eh? Mm. Ooh, my turn. Mm, yeah. It's, it's really kind of, if you, like, if you like bubble tea, you'll like this. Mm. Well, the place is called Green Mango and they specialize in bubble tea. But uh, having a bit of a tropical twist is really nice. Wow, that's good. Mm. Okay, well, I feel better. <laughs> And then over there, there's some people swimming. It actually looks pretty shallow. It looks like there's a couple like rocky spots over here, and obviously some big rocks over there. But like, there's a there's a sandy beach right there. I feel like in our travels, we have actually been to quite a few forts. And while the forts themselves are like usually pretty like okay, you know, it's usually just like some sort of wall, and we walk along it. The views, man, that's where it's at. Because I think true. I true. feel like we were recently at a fort in. Um, Cartagena, right? Colombia? Yeah, Colombia. And I remember the one in Malta as well. We're at at least our third fort. 
and um, I love the views. You can always kind of take the views at, for at forts, no matter what the actual building structure still looks like. I think this one is even better than those previous ones because mm -hmm. not only is it like hot tropical weather, mm -hmm. but you're right beside the water. Mm -hmm. It's like gorgeous and sunny out and the water looks so inviting. I can stay here forever. <laughs> You guys may have noticed that today's video has just been like super chill, super cash, and that is because the south coast of Sri Lanka is super chill and super <laughs> cash. This is a great representation of like what to do in a day here. Go surfing, have some delicious food, do a little bit of shopping, maybe go see a monument. Like this kind of, this is island life, you know? So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos just like this and all around Sri Lanka and beyond, make sure you hit the subscribe <laughs> button. And our upload schedule is a little bit all over the place right now. So make sure you also hit that bell button to get notified whenever we post a new video. Thank you for coming along our day today. We will see you in the next one, which is going to be further along the south coast here. Thanks for watching. <laughs> we just witnessed a... Uh, some sort of like Sri Lankan rom-com or soap, uh, what do you call it? Soap, soap something? Soap opera? Soap opera? No. Soap. Soap. Just a soap. Soap show. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's probably commercial. It looked like a commercial to me. Is there a Sri Lankan Netflix? I think something was happening there. It looked pretty cool. Just called Netflix. <laughs>